folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I'm here with the Boatless Angler. Hi everyone. And we just come off the water. We had a great day catching walleyes. We did. And you're going to give a demo on how to fillet and zipper a walleye so you have completely boneless fillets. Right. All right. We're also going to cheek the walleye. That's okay. how we're going to start. That's actually. usually the first thing to do, right? Yeah. So this piece here is the cheek and it's got lots of meat and you can kind of see that there's an outline there. So you want to just follow the, that outline with the knife, tip of the knife and just up to the kind of to the eye and then you can peel it back just lift it and you can actually put your thumb in there and rip it right off the skin oh freshwater scallop yeah so let's do it quickly on the other side that looks really good got a really nice fried up with a bit of garlic butter and garlic right butter and garlic yeah okay so same thing on this side Thumb, rip it right off the skin. Very nice. Okay. So like any other walleye, we're zippering it today, but it's not any different than when you do a fillet, right? So you just behind the head, always on an angle and not straight. I like to just get myself situated here by just cutting the knife along the skin and that gives me access to the backbone where I can start removing the meat. So just follow the backbone, keeping it boneless. Then when you get to around this fin here, you can poke all the way through. Usually the butt area, right? Yeah. Right where the butt is? Yeah. Yeah. And run your knife down. You can see this right, got all the meat there. Now walleye have a lot of meat around the ribs. Right. So that's why zippering exists. So what you can do, once you get to here, you can actually feel some of the really tiny little pin bones that come out from the rib cage. From the rib cage. So you want to use your knife and just cut through those those pin bones, and they're very small. Like you cut through them very easily, no effort. And you run along the rib cage, so you can see that's the meat we want to we want to save. Okay. So once you get to here couple things you can do. You can actually rip, just pull it off and then it's easy to cut. There you go, one boneless fillet. Not yet, it's not boneless Well, yet. true, true. We you're, have that, those pin bones is what we're yeah. going to zipper out. You're going to make it boneless. Right. All, All right. right. So once you've filleted it, you got to take the skin off. So I'm going to remove the skin. Yes, yeah, so just run your knife along the skin. There we go. So you can actually, if you're traveling, you can leave a piece of skin on there for identification, but uh, we're not, so we're gonna rip this off. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to make a bad thing a good thing. There you go. So this is skinless filet, which has bones in it still. So if you remember, we have a line of pin bones all the way along here, and it stops about there. Um, and that's what we're gonna actually pull out. Okay. And it's called zippering because the action is kind of like zippering. And how you do that, you see the lateral line? Yeah. So the lateral line is there. Mm -hmm. You want to cut, make an incision just above the lateral line and just below the lateral line. Oh, and yeah. this is on the tail portion. So okay. you only got to cut about two inches in. And then what you want to do is you want to grab the meat side, so the top part, hold on to that other side and just pull it away. Like a zipper. Okay. So this is now boneless fillet. That's a beautiful fillet. The pin bones are, as you can see them here, they're all along this edge. So how we get those off, you take the other side and you just pull those bones off. So I cut a little bit too deep there. So if that happens to you, just get started again. And continue zippering. Yeah. Like that. Beautiful. That is again another boneless fillet. Very nice. So now you just basically do the same thing to the other side. Exactly. And you have two uh, two boneless fillets, or actually four boneless fillets. Right. right? When you zipper, you <laughs> end up with four. <laughs> and you have the nice cheeks to go. Yep. And you know what? I've got a great recipe on cooking walleye. 
Uh, if you're interested, we'll put a link here for you because walleye is one of the better eating freshwater fish for sure. Thanks for that demo, Antonio. You're going to do the other side now? Yep. And then we're going to have a little fish fry. I'm into it. Love it. it. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Until next time, good luck and good fishing.